Hello everyone, I'm Jay and welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at the job you want. You need to know what job you want. This is the first step in the process of finding the job in the UK for international students. Uh, this is another episode of our series. We have made few videos before, please do go and watch them. And also if you would like to uh, see the next episodes of videos, please do like and subscribe to this channel, right? So back to the business. How do you find a job in the UK? The first step is you need to know what job do you want. I get, as I said, I have helped loads of people over the years and I'm helping few people just now. But most of the times I ask people, okay, um, you're looking for a job. What, what do you want? What job are you looking for? Uh, some don't know. <laughs> some are very vague. Some say a software job. Some say IT job. Some say, you know, account job, SAP admin or something like that. Um, some, some are very particular, uh, SAP admin in this case. That is very, um, you know, they know what they want, uh, very specific, right? And that's what we are trying to get to, right? First things first, you need to know what job. So ideally, it would help if you know a few job titles. For example, you know, as you know, my background is in IT and cybersecurity, and I use those as examples most of the time. So for example, you know, you're looking for a job in IT or networking, let's say, or security. So for IT, you would be like IT support engineer, IT technician, IT help desk engineer, service desk engineer, user support engineer, you know, titles like that. If you know a couple of titles, that would be great, right? Uh, if for security, cyber security analyst, security engineer, you know, um, SOC engineer, SOC analyst, jobs like that, network engineer. We won't go into networking. Networking is relatively difficult to get into because it, it, every networking job asks for lots of experience, right? Um, let's use finance, right? I will actually uh, tell you a story <laughs> uh, before I uh, give you the finance uh, titles. So one of my friend, I'm sure he don't mind using his story. I won't mention the name. Uh, one of my friend has been in the UK for a long, long time, right? And he has been working at a restaurant as a manager. So one day we were playing poker, right? And then one thing led to another. And he said, oh, I lived in London for a few months and um, I tried for jobs in London. He, he went for some uh, training and then he uh, tried for a job in London. I said, uh, so what job were you looking for? He said, uh, SAP, uh, SAP, some strange title, but it is something related to SAP, right? And I said, okay, well, that's interesting. So what happened? And he said, I didn't get the job in the end. So I came back and you know, started working for the restaurant and he has been working there for so many years, right? And then a couple of days passed, I, I came back to my office. I was sitting in my office and I thought, right, He's a good friend of mine. I didn't know this story before. So I said, um, you know what? I, I sent him a message. I said, hey, you know, I heard your story. If you're still looking for jobs, I can help you if, if that's okay with you. And he said, oh, that would be awesome. You know, so come into my office some point. And he came in and we had a chat and background and whatnot. And he said, um, it gave me the title again, SAP, some strange module administrator in SAP. And we went on to indeed.com and uh, we, found, we we put in the title and I, there were three, two or three jobs in the whole of UK. I, I said, can you see this? There are only two jobs in the whole of UK. So your chances are tiny, aren't even tiny, a fraction. Right. So, so what do you, you know, what, what were you thinking? And he said, yeah, yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay. So I said, uh, you know, with no offense, you have done accounting, finance, MBA, uh, whatever. And, um, here you are trying for this SAP jobs. There are only few companies use SAP. UK market job market is limited. You know, there are only SAP usually used by big companies. 
and um, there would be probably in thousands not even tens of thousands number of companies using sap right your, your market is limited so what i would suggest you do is you know apply apply for accounts assistant finance assistant um you know payroll not payroll but sales ledger assistant or purchase ledger admin you know roles like this you have the communication skills and uh, i can show you what courses you need to do in order to you know know what skills you need for these jobs or even practical knowledge so if you're happy if you're open for that we could apply and i'm sure we'll get you a job in a few months right and he said yeah that that's that sounds fine once you get the job then you can you know you can expand your wings once you get that confidence you can expand your wings yeah maybe you can again go for sap um, or something else something else it's up to you but to get that proper you know skilled job um we will need to t take this approach is that okay with you he said yeah that's fine so we changed the approach and we started looking for accounts and finance assistant jobs and um few months later he got a job you know i only um pointed him in the right direction he did most of the work uh, i was guiding whenever he reached out to me but uh, i was so glad in the end he got the job so he got the job and he has been working there for almost 18 months or two years nearly right so <laughs> that's how uh, that's that's what you need right you need to know what jobs you, you you want and what jobs um that can be that 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 are in your, in your um reachable area right um in your in your remit that's the correct word so sometimes you may not know or sometimes people like myself or somebody you know who is already working may be able to help if you know somebody um like myself it would be brilliant you know back in the day when i was applying for my jobs i was helped by couple of people and um, you know long story short 13 month 13 years later i'm here right so hopefully you know again if you know somebody or if you know a friend of a friend who is working in a job uh, which you are ideally looking for then ask for help you know just for guidance just ask for you know an hour of time you know and then take it from there maybe one hour a week or half an hour a week or you know everybody is busy but you know you need to respect the time but again people like to help right ask for help right okay back to the back to the where we are so you need to know the titles right once you know the titles once you know the titles you know what you can do is you can go on uh, job sites like indeed.com or i was using jobs or s1 jobs only for scotland jobs for job serve for overall at the time job center plus had a good um you know uh, job website where small employers who can't afford the costs of um, you know um, advertising on a uh, different websites they used to post on the job center plus and that's how i got my first job <laughs> this was a tip given by venu uh, one of my friend who was uh, trying for the jobs at the time so you know there are a number of job websites right so let's see what you can do um just a quick overview once you know your job title what you can do right so let me show you on my laptop okay let's say you know uh, well let's say you, you know the domain or you have the job title right so if you don't know anything if you just want right, okay i want jobs in it or that's a bit vague but let's say it support right it support and let's say what titles there are going to be um there you go it support engineer it support represent technical support representative customer support specialist second line engineer first line engineer a desktop support engineer that's another title uh, configuration support technician as i said you know it technician uh, so many jobs right application support and whatnot so let's go back to one of the jobs okay it service desk technician level one okay let's see what they're asking for here okay um this is a uh, about how a hybrid trial to apply uh, you need to for informal chat about the role call it service operations manager the direct number right? this looks like dundee number uh is it dundee 
Right, okay, maybe, maybe it is, but I'm sure the number is in, uh, that, that, the, that is in Dundee, um, but anyway, right, oh yeah, there you go, Dundee, <laughs> so, um, this is, this is brilliant, about you, self-motivated, stress, uh, successful situation, have one year's minimum, one year minimum experience, and first level support, IT, IT, IT department, that's it. They are not aren't asking much. Experience, you should have also be evidence of good working knowledge of service desk procedures, SLA adherence, SAT management, and have a proven track record of prioritizing. So ideally, if you do a certification like ITEL, ITIL, then you will know all of these things that are mentioned here, right? So, and this is brilliant job, uh, job uh, post here because you have a chance you, they actually advertise the person's name and the contact number so you can actually call them directly and probably find him on linkedin add him and send him a, a really good message and why you're a good fit for the role and all that this is brilliant right okay anyway so you need to have uh, one year experience and some knowledge on s some other things right okay let's see and we'll see air defense and space okay this is this is asking for security clearance so make sure uh, you don't waste your time on uh, these jobs if you don't have the security clearance. So about you, server technologies, Cisco router switches, gateway firewalls. So you know what they're asking for. IT configuration support, CDW. Uh, what you will do, da 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 da, skills, you're asking for analytical problems. They're not really asking for experience here. It's, so this is probably a, a desk moving or um, kind of job. First line IT support, CRM, first line fixing desktop servers, remote, you know, these are all very, very standard for an IT support um, role, right? So, practical experience, Office 365, Office 365 is must. You need to have knowledge on Office 365 if you are looking for IT support role. And uh, you need to know how to fix the desktop systems. Again, you can learn on the job. Um, Sometimes I have seen jobs before companies asking for company A plus certification. If you have that, that will put you above uh, all the people who doesn't have it, right? So, which is good. Um, and remote support tools like TeamViewer or any other remote support tools. If you know one technology, the 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 basic ethos is same for all remote support tools. Yeah, again, Office three six five here. Um, and some Azure stuff as well because this is a second line role. Uh, no, this is second line. No, no, this is not second line. This is first line. Right. Okay. Again, here you see first line support role at least a three plus year experience. Well, wow, that is a lot. Administering Active Directory, Windows updates. Again, you can learn this in uh, on YouTube, <laughs> and maybe installing some virtual servers and playing around with it. Uh, it's easy. It's easy to learn these these skill these skills, and there you go. Company uh, <laughs> asking for company certification and Microsoft Cisco. If you're going for Microsoft, I would say Office three six five administration or something like that. And uh, company uh, A plus network plus are good, but I uh, I C square. I think they are looking for security experience as well here, security certifications as well because there is an ISO 27001 and cyber. Um, but all these things you can learn, uh, you can gain knowledge, you don't have to be an expert. You can gain knowledge either on YouTube or attending some courses on Udemy or LinkedIn Learning or you know so on and so forth, different places. And then you know put, put them on your CV as having knowledge in them. You, know, you should be able to talk about them for a minute or two um, and answer some high level questions. Uh, as long as you can do that, it's uh, that's fine. You know, this this seems to be a bit more experience role, 32k, right? So you get the gist. I just shown you for IT support role, but this is same for any any roles, software roles, DevOps, uh, accounting, sales, marketing, whatever the roles you're looking for, uh, it would be the same. Um, so let's take a quick look at the accounting jobs, right? Just a really quick look. So accounts assistant, right? Okay, so find jobs. 
So finance assistant, let's go see what they're asking for. Uh, experience, says 200, says 50, uh, Excel, yeah, well, most accountants finance job, you need to have good knowledge of Excel. And job responsibilities, uh, recording all bank cash uh, balances, payment, allocate payments, is, that is uh, reconciliation, end of the day, da 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 da, credit control, general bookkeeping, purchase ledger cover. You know, this is very standard, box standard. Right. Mm, here, key responsibilities achieve. Uh, they didn't say skill accounting one year uh, needed licenses okay preferred hopefully you have done your masters and uh, yeah reconciliation of system accounts bank statements these are all again standard accounting uh, right previous experience in office based role finance experience rising POs assisting you know finance manager stationary expenses all this um okay accounts assistant accountant assistant accountant is different from accounts assistant just just to let you know accounts assistant is the a beginner a base level job whereas assistant account is not sole traders partnership vat returns right basically what i'm trying to say is whether the it job software job accounts job or whatever the job it is you're looking for if you go and read 10 15 job descriptions you know the responsibilities most of that responsibilities are usually same and also you know the skills right skills required skills required once you look at 10 15 job descriptions there would be at least three or four common requirements whether that is one year experience or whether that is uh, experience with uh, one of the accounting software sage 200 or sage 50 um, quickbooks zero or something like that or maybe they're asking for excel uh, skills as well so if, once you know these uh, two or three top skills make sure you gain some knowledge in it there are so many courses you can attend and you can gain knowledge right similar to similar for it and any other software once you have these three uh, skills as standard rest of them you can just have knowledge of them that's fine so for these main core three skills you are going to get a bit deeper right maybe you know if, if they're asking a sage 200 or, or, or a zero or a quickbooks you can learn quickbooks online it's easy most of the accounting jobs you're generally you know bank reconciliation bookkeeping uh, VAT returns and and these things these things you can again sign up for a course and you can you can you can do the course you can you can hopefully have done a similar course in your university and if you put two into you know uh, what to say when the recruiter calls you or when you go for an interview right hopefully that makes sense so i have i hope that helps that is i just shown you for it support but it's the same for any other roles uh, you know accounting sales marketing security whatever you need to know what employers are asking for right once you know what job you're looking for then the next step is you need to know what skills and certifications experience you need right um i have seen people saying oh i don't have any experience <laughs> this is where you need to be creative that's where that's all i can say right and um and also mainly confidence issues with the people. I, I shared my story before and I also made a few videos on how to find the jobs. Please do go and watch them. You need to take that out of your mind. Confidence issues. Finding a job in the UK is a lot, lot easier than finding a job in India. <laughs> so trust me, uh, once you get the job, that's what you're going to say. The first thing you're going to say is that it, it was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 were anxious all the time just for no reason right so yeah it's uh it's easy you so to sum it up you need to know a few job titles you need to know exactly what you're looking for and also once you know what job you're looking for what in the what domain what area you're looking for then i wouldn't switch the streams for example you may choose test engineer uh, as as a job you're aspiring to do and then in the meanwhile in the halfway through you find it 
times are tough you're not getting any calls or not no interviews and one of your friend might say oh yeah the devops seems to be more interesting you know people are getting jobs then all the effort you have done <laughs> for for months most of it is uh, you know useless right maybe you can use some of the process and what not but yeah stick to it don't give up yeah if you find somebody who is experienced and that says you know you're not a good fit for a test engineer but you may be a good fit for devops and you will get a job sooner then probably listen to him or her but um don't listen to somebody who didn't have a job who doesn't have a job in the first place you know and also surround yourself with people like minded people and you will find a job right okay stay tuned please do like and subscribe i'm going to make more episodes in this series of finding a finding jobs for in the uk for international students uh, i hopefully that helps but if you have any questions please do leave a comment below all right and please do leave a comment with what your situation is and also i will leave a google form uh, on how to get in touch with me in the description if you want to get in touch with me please do so all right thank you so much and uh, all the best